Okay, so this is like the general layout. Families who survived the Marshall Fire are still trying to piece together how they'll rebuild their homes. How much can we really get to rebuild this home? Insurance, energy codes, building materials, it's all overwhelming. Oh. What I was curious about. A rebuild expo on Saturday in Louisville is meant to connect people with local contractors and financers who can help. I mean, I went out on the deck that day. I still remember seeing the smoke. It took Larry Bovin more than a year of planning to feel ready enough to break ground. He says it's the first time his wife, Mary, has been able to talk about the fire without crying. And like Mary likes to say, it was going to be our forever home. We thought almost 30 years later, it, it was gone. They had lived in their home in Louisville since 1993. So I'm looking at about a roughly a 1900 square foot house. Now that it's gone, the Bovins hope they can build their second forever home in the same spot they've been for decades. She always loved to be able to walk from our house on Hillside Lane over over to the rec center every day with her walker. They've got a new floor plan and hope to start building in June. At first, I really didn't know if I could do it because um, a lot of people were telling me, Larry, at this age or this point in your life, why are you wanting to rebuild your home? But for the Bovins. It's for Mary and a, a lot of it is about Mary. Their home wouldn't be the same without their community. This community is really, they embrace you. And so Mary can be right there in her, in her forever home again. For many families like the Bovins who lost their home in the fire, living expenses and rental assistance from their insurance ends in December. So there's another added pressure on families right now to start that rebuild process. We knew this was going to be such a big project. I'm not sure if we understood exactly how much of a project until yes. families started moving through it piece by piece. So, Courtney, thank you.